What's up, YouTube? If you found this video, it's either because one, you uh, need a battery change on your GGB100 Mudmaster, and two, you're probably scared to do it yourself. So let's get started. Let's show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Let's go. Alright guys, here we have it, the GGB100. Um, you might have a different rendition colorway for this watch, but they're all the same way. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the battery on these watches. The watch was released in July of 2019, and depending when you got it and how aggressive you are with the functions, you may be coming down to the a need of a battery change. If you're watching this video, it's because you do need one and you're afraid to do it yourself. Um, let me put you at ease. Do it yourself, guys. It's not that difficult. Save yourself some money. Um, peace of mind that you're the one doing the change. Follow this video and you won't have any problems. Uh, the battery the battery that you'll need for this change is a CR2025 battery. Please do not use generic batteries. The life of the watch will be um, impacted by the battery uh, quality. You wanna use some tools. The tools I'm using here is a uh, hex screw right here to remove the lugs. I also have a simple pin here to remove and to um, uh, to do an AC reset when I'm done with the battery swap. You could use anything, a needle, anything with a sharp point metal thing. I'm also going to use this trusted tool here. This is to remove the spring bars, just a tool that you have. I have handy. If necessary, you don't even need this. You could use a screwdriver or a thin screwdriver, like a um, um, something like for eyeglasses, but. This tool is not necessary for the purpose of changing the battery. I'll just show you what that's for um, once I get there. You'll also need a size zero uh, Felix screwdriver. This you definitely need. And you'll need uh, some tweezers to, once again, to remove some of these screws and um, make sure that you're carefully not touching anything with to and damage the watch. All right. Again, this is also not necessary. Just... I recommend it. I also recommend that you use a microfiber cloth to sit all your, your watch on so that when you put it face down, you're not scratching it. Microfiber is the softest material. The cloth is also kind of abrasive. And this here is kind of a nylon um, combination. So you don't want to put your watch face down and scratch the bezel, glass, or anything else um, in the process. So I like to lay down a microfiber cloth and uh, there's also rubber pads that they sell. Now, the average person will not need to buy all these things. And that's why I'm using this because the average person would not be changing a watch battery that often. So if you do need it, there's rubber mats. Uh, there's uh, all these tools that you could buy um, online. So all depends on your needs and your wants um, and your budget. All right, so let's get started, guys. I want to start off by removing these hex screws right on the side of the watch here. There's four of them, one, two, three, and four, all right? And you wanna be very careful when you do this. You don't wanna strip this actual lug, all right? And by uh, the best way to do it is to sit this down in the firm, on a firm table or a firm um, place and then push down on it as you turn it. That will create the necessary friction to keep it from spinning and keep your um, your lug from, being, from getting stripped, all right? So you wanna push down and turn it um, kind of hold it in place and then turn it counterclockwise. Here is the uh, lug in reference. There we go. Okay. Put that to the side, make sure you don't lose it. And then take off the other three. All right, now that you have all four screws out of there, let's see, one, two, three, four, you're gonna wanna remove this band um, thing right here by pulling it down, all right? Just kind of pull it down on both sides. There you go, like that, and leave it, leave the, uh, leave, just leave them on there. You don't have to take them off completely if you don't want to. And then by doing so, now you could 
you've exposed the screws right on, underneath the back there. All right, so now we're gonna remove all four of those screws. You can take these off if you want to, if, they're, if they get in your way. All right, guys, so you can hold them up like this if you want, keep them out of your way, and then remove all four screws with your size zero screwdriver. All right, now that these screws are out, make sure you don't lose these, put them in the safe place where you'll be able to find them. Now, this is a tip I like to give myself and other people when they're changing batteries on these watches because there's so many parts and components inside of here. You want to, I like to put them in the order that I take them off the watch, put them on the side so you know when what order they're gonna go back on, all right? All right, now that you got those four screws off, you want to remove the bands um, to expose the uh, cover because this cover here, you'll see it's being held down um, at this position here by the band so you can't lift the cover because this piece right there is preventing it from being lifted so you've it's pretty much just kind of holding it down which is pretty cool neat feature but it's a pain in the butt uh, when it comes to actually changing the battery all right so one thing i like to do guys is keep notes take pictures of what you're doing as you go just so you have a reference to go back to in case you mess up and you don't know where things go for example here um this shock resist little buckle here that holds the um, bands in place and or protects it are this one says mud resist and the other one says shock resist i know it's not it's anal they're kind of um, interchangeable but i like to keep the watch looking the same as i found it so i'm going to write on the little piece of paper make a note to myself that um shock resist goes on top and the mud resist one goes on the bottom so shock uh, make a note of it just so that you don't forget in case these come off the band you know exactly how they go now push comes to shove you forgot to do that at some point Go look up a picture on Google and you'll find a picture of this watch and then you can just reference that. Um, either way, just make a note of how it goes. All right, so once you get, um, you do that, you're gonna remove these pins. There's a small little pin here on the bottom of the, on the side of the watch. It's hard to see, if I can find it for you guys. Right there, that pin right there, right there, lifts, all right? So you lift it up to, exp to remove the band. Right, so let's do that now. Okay, it's gonna be it's hard to do it when I'm trying to record it and kind of give you guys a good perspective. But you can move this little piece here out of the way like this, kind of lift it out the way to get that um, spring bar. I, I think you want to call it out of the way. So I'm gonna use this tool here. This is what I. I'm, that's why I needed this tool for. But you can use anything with a kind of a, a, like I said, a screwdriver, uh, maybe even this pin here could use let me try that matter of fact a needle or some sort you could use um to get that piece out of the frame so like that there's a little nook there you can see that it's got a little gap there you could just kind of push it there and lift it up see that i can use this tool now this tool is probably easier because it's got this little little um crevice there and it makes it easier to grab like that and lift it, right? But you can use it pretty much anything. Once you got that out, I'm gonna use these um, tweezers to uh, to pull the to pull that pin out. Okay, and there you have it, and it's out. Now you want to do that on the other side as well. Right there and there's four of them one two and three and four again don't lose these pieces make sure you keep them somewhere safe so you'll be able to reinstall them once you're done now once you remove those two out of those the band will literally just fall off okay push that to the side there Again, make a note of where this one goes. See now the back, the back, the back is ready to come off. You can see that here. See that? Oh, look at that! I could take just two off. That's pretty cool. You could just take two off, and then you're good to go. Now, don't turn the watch like I just did upside down because there's pieces in here that you don't want to fall off. They should be secure if you turn them around, but you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to take any risk. For example, that little spring there, 
um show you that little spring right there it's it's stuck from the inside and it shouldn't come off but you don't want to lose that little spring um otherwise you'll lose um the uh alarm signals and all that chimes and sounds um that's necessary for that purpose okay so you don't want to lose that all right next we're going to pull this little plastic off here all right again in the order that i take it off i like to stack them so that i know um what goes when all right so this came off first this was next and that's how i know in that order to put them back in and once you get those two pieces out you're pretty much done you're going to use again this little needle here and then there's an area right on the right side of the battery right in that little bracket there and you pretty much want to stick this needle inside that crevice right there between that u gap you see that u gap right there inside now you can see on the bottom there there's a little plastic metal thing you want to stick it right in there and then push the push the pin that way kind of unclipping it all right like that so stick it in and boom open sesame there you go see that all right so now you want to remove the battery um ideally you want to use again these pliers you can use your hands just make sure you wash them that you ground yourself and you're not causing any damage touching any other components in the time so you don't fry the motherboard or anything like that so remove the battery again you're gonna need a cr 2025 battery and then stick it in there positive side up and then just push down on it and stick it back in this sticker here is just reference on how to do an AC reset. You don't have to remove that sticker. Um, it's optional. Uh, you could Ideally, you want to leave that sticker on there um, as a reference on how to do the AC reset. Now, to do the AC reset, it's recommended that you do one every time after each battery change. Um, the instructions tells you what to do. You want to put one side of the needle into the AC and the other side of the negative um, spot on the watch. You'll find that in this case, the AC is here for this watch. That's the AC hole. The negative is right there. So you stick one end into the AC and then you touch the negative side for two seconds. That should give your watch going back to zero. The time, the date all goes back to 12 o'clock. See that? That's how you know that you did the correct um, AC reset. You'll notice that the time and the second hands and all that is not properly aligned. I'll show you why. Um, as soon as I put the battery back onto the cover, you'll be able to manually adjust those and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so let's go back and now um, put back the pieces. Once again, first this piece goes in there. Oh, you want to make sure that your gasket there, your seal is properly installed, all right? This is the key part. Um, this is what people make mistakes at the most and this is what makes your watch a, um, gain or get water to go inside of the module so this rubber seal here you have to make sure it's properly sitting inside that crevice right around the edge all right if it's sitting on the edge there you want to push it back in if it's not when you close the seal when you close the back cover it's going to pinch it and it's going to cross a void it's going to cause a void and water may enter the module causing a lot of damage irreversible damage that you don't want to do okay next now that you have that in there you put your cover back on there. This comes off, this plastic. If, if you by accident remove this plastic there, just sit it back in there. It's not a big deal. Uh, and then just throw your cover back in there. There you go. And then now you want to put your, um, either you throw your screws on there or put your band on, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and install the band. right set it in place and now you're going to put these screws back in there all right want to put them where that little the little void there is is pointing outward okay so like that again this is difficult to do 
You can remove these if you want to using the same, same hex screwdriver. You can remove that to gain access to that, but it's not necessary. Um, but it makes it easier if you want, okay? And push that down, make sure it's flushed all the way down. Okay, to the other side. There you go, now it's back in place. And Now you can throw the screws back on there before installing the hexes on there. Let's go ahead and put those screws back in here, the Felix screws there. All right, now that you got those four screws in there, you're gonna push this back down. Shock up, shock up, mud on the bottom, okay? Where's my mud on it? Mud. There. And then we're going to screw these back on there. All right, now they're on there, pretty much done. You want to set the time and you want to, uh, you want to uh, correct, again, you want to correct, align the um, hands, the analog hands on the watch. So I'm gonna show you guys how to one, do the alignment, and two, how to set the time. All right, now to uh, set the time, uh, you can use the app itself using Bluetooth and also to do the alignment of the analog hands. You wanna connect to the Bluetooth and follow the instructions. I'll show you guys how to do that. Now, first you wanna push and hold this button here, the one that says connect on the side of the watch. Push and hold. So you push and hold the connect button for two seconds. Once the watch is paired, click on the settings button on the top right corner, then go to the bottom and uh, select the adjusting the home position. This is how you uh, adjust and calibrate the minute, second, and hour hand on your watch. Here you select one, two, and three, or whichever one you want to calibrate. Um, and then you want to match what's on your watch with what's being displayed on your phone Bluetooth screen. So want to match what's on the screen with what's actually on your watch and that'll calibrate the watch with the actual uh, Bluetooth and make sure that it's aligned and uh, properly synced. Once you're done, you want to send the setting to your watch and you'll see the hands on your watch actually um, calibrate itself with what's on the screen. Once you're done calibrating, just hit the disconnect button. All right, so as you're doing the operation, you'll see the hands on the watch are moving. And once you disconnect, your time should be synced. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button if this is helpful at all. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. A lot of G-Shock content, uh, tutorials, upcoming releases, um, tough tests, how-to videos, all that stuff. All right, guys, this is Chicago. I'm out here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking your time. There were so many videos you could have chosen. You chose me. I love you for that. See you guys very soon. I'm out. Peace. I'm